Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about EVO month function in the SQL Server. So EVO month function is nothing but end of month function in the SQL Server. So this function will help us to get the last day in a particular month. So let us say, so if you run for the particular date, it is going to give you last date of the particular month. Now let me show you practically how to get the last date of the particular month in the SQL server. So now let me write a small query with evo month, evo, m-o-n-t-h. So this is a system defined function. So it is going to accept two parameters. So one is mandatory. If you see this, the parameter one is mandatory that the parameter two is a optional one. So, but it is going to take you the date time first parameter is a date time second parameter is a int now let me pass get date so if you see here so if i run the get date uh, end of the month now first let me run the get date today's date so that we can easily run the end of month on the top of the get date if you see this the get date is 2018 0103 now if i run the end of the month for the get date it should give the january month and date now let me run this yeah, if you see this it is going to give you the 31st 2018 31st now let me give a name as uh, month month last date so that i can easily i then understand this yeah the month last date is 2018 January 31st now so if you want to add like a couple of months to the particular get date so I want to identify the so next month month and date so I am going to pass the second parameter as month value so here I am adding one month to the get date then I will be getting the next month and date now let me run this yeah if you see this February contains only 28 days because it is not a leap year if it is a leap year you will get the 29 so means the second parameter is only to add the month numbers not the date numbers not the year numbers okay so now so if you want to identify let me remove this let me come back to the original state yeah if you see this yeah see here you will get the january month and date now if you want only the day if you want only the 31st day value so then you can use a date part function so now let me write a date part function on the top of this query so date part is uh, well known to everyone date part dd comma see this one now i am going to change name as month last day now let me run this if you see this you will be getting only 31st yeah this is how we use the evo month function the sql server queries so this is a straightforward queries let me use the evo month function on the top of a, any table so I have it employee table. Let me run first. Select start from EMP. So if you see this EMP table, which contains yes, which contains five columns. Out of this, one is a date column, joining date. So apart from all the values, I want the so month and date for each and every employee and a particular year and a particular month. So here I'll be putting as it is, comma evo month. I am writing the evo month function evo month of joining date joining date as a month last date from emp let me run this i'll be getting all the as that is columns and here joining date is this for this particular joining date what will be the end date for this yeah here it is 31st for this particular month it is 30 for this particular month it is 31st and for this particular month it is 31st so this is how we apply evo month function in the sql queries so the first two queries are for the basic examples and the last query is it will show you how to use the evo month function the existing tables or existing queries so that's it thank you for watching